Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm here at uh, the Jamaica Bay Wildlife Refuge in uh, Howard Beach, Queens, New York City. And if you hear jet noise in the background, it's because this preserve happens to be right next to Kennedy Airport. And I'm also next to a major throughway, so uh, pardon any uh, side noise you might hear. So I've got my R6 uh, with my Tamron 150 to 600 mounted on it because I'm going to try and do some bird photography with this camera for the first time. Um, obviously I have the adapter mounted on it and uh, a fellow just told me that he saw a peregrine falcon out here. Of course it's a fairly large area, the bird could be anywhere. And I don't really know what I'm going to see or if I'm going to see anything particularly notable. I just want to test out the camera's uh, capabilities and how it shoots compared to the 5D Mark IV or the 7D Mark II that I've been shooting with for several years. So let's go on, see what we get. This time of year, the main birds that would be in this area, since we are in a wetland, are waterfowl, migratory waterfowl, such as brants. Um, sometimes we see, well not sometimes, we, this is definitely a, a, a ground for snow geese to come down from the Arctic, and they stay around here till about March. Uh, the guy I spoke to told me about the peregrine falcon, said there weren't any snow geese here yet, but you know, we'll see. So I said brants, certain other uh, ducks, such as, uh, ruddy ducks, some other diving ducks, um, ring neck ducks, things like that. So also sometimes there are uh, warblers around, specifically yellow rumped warblers that uh, are in their brown uh, off season colors. And they stay around here all year and feed on berries. Sometimes even robins will stay down here in this area, specific area and feed on berries. So we'll see what we see. Hopefully we'll see something. So far the only thing I've seen is a uh, seagull, but I think I just heard a chickadee. Definitely heard a chickadee. All right, so maybe this kind of camel will get some action in a minute. I just saw the peregrine flying lazily across over the pond. I want to see if I can get Well, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to get a shot of him. Well, because he's flying around the pond, probably looking for waterfowl. So, at least I know it's here. Got ourselves a couple of uh, mockingbirds up in the tree. Oh, the eye autofocus is working like a charm. And it's so quiet. I was very pleased with how the R6 was able to focus on the bird's eye even through broken uh, foliage and twigs which you'll see in the second mockingbird shot here and also later on in another image where the subject was partly obscured by branches. Very good. Nothing like the New York skyline. Here I am in Howard Beach, Queens, and it's a beautiful day. The last time I was here, actually I was shooting the skyline from close to this location, right after Tropical Storm had just blown through. All right, we got a couple of ducks out there on the water. It may be because the bird is silhouetted. I'm not really seeing the autofocus box on here. Oop, got it. Okay, he caught it.
Yeah, that was pretty cool. It zoomed right in or focused right in on the uh, duck in the front, which I believe is a northern shoveler. And beyond it are the uh, ruddies, which are all resting, not really doing much of anything. But the duck that was in the front was the one that she needed to be focused on, and that's exactly what it did. So, pretty happy with that. And we've got some geese coming in, or ducks, no more ducks. I'll see if I can get some birds and fight shots before I leave. This is some really beautiful sky. If I'd come out here for landscapes, this would have been epic. But I didn't bring those lenses. May come back out tomorrow if we have similar conditions. Because the skyline under the clouds like this look epic. You know what? The heck with it. I'm going to grab a shot of the skyline anyway because it's just too good a shot to pass it up. I'm hand holding with my 150 to 600. And I'll take a few shots. And if something comes out good that's fairly decent, you'll see it. There's a raptor in the tree. It might be that peregrine. Let me turn you around. I think it might be a kestrel instead. All in all, it's been a pretty successful shoot. I'm pretty happy with the performance of the R6 as a uh, birding uh, camera. It paired up pretty well with my camera on 150 to 600. Um, I'm gonna pop up at the end of this video some of uh, some of the you know, bonus shots that I got while I was walking around the west pond of the Jamaica Bay Wildlife Refuge. So, I think I had a pretty good day shooting with the R6. Uh, it pairs up pretty well with the Tamron 150-600 as a burning camera. Um, it focused pretty well, even with the, even as an adapted uh, EF non-Canon lens. And I think I got some really nice shots out of it. The only uh, negative I have is battery life because the um, R6, um, after, after only a couple of hours of uh, burst shooting and some B-roll video and stuff like that, it started to run down pretty quick, and once the once the battery goes gets below 50%, you really start losing um, burst speed. So 
Um, that's the only negative I have, really. The camera sh sh shoots pretty well, and I think I'm going to be pretty happy with the images that I got, and you will have seen them by the time I'm saying this. And I'm going to pop up some additional shots of the uh, waterfowl that I mentioned earlier um, you know, that I got as, 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 as B-roll. So if you liked what you saw here and you want to see more, I hope you hit the subscription button that's right down here and also hit the notification bell so that you know the next time that I upload a video. Thanks a lot for joining me on this little journey here in the Jamaica Bay Wildlife Refuge, and I'll see you next time. Bye.